Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Showers and a few isolated thunderstorms moving through parts of Central Texas. Some of us getting a little relief. It's not going to last long, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? Some of us not seeing anything but uh, a lot of humidity across the region. Now, out in Woodway, skies are mostly cloudy right now. Our live Centex roof system sky tracker, that is Highway 84. We've had a thunderstorm uh, move through the area, and we are still watching a little bit more. Here's our exclusive Viper Radar. There's the big picture. Once again, you can see a majority of us not seeing much, but there's a few spots right along I-35 that we're seeing some showers and some isolated storms. It's all tracking back to the southwest at about 15 to 20 miles an hour, so it's moving in this direction rather than in that direction. But just south of Bellmead, you see a little bit there in the Waco, Woodway, the Hewitt area, another little batch around west, but it's all tracking to the southwest. So if that moves down the pike, it should be to the west of the Waco area. And hey, maybe you get a shower over toward Crawford, that'll cool you down. Other areas will take you down into Bell County and Williamson County, seeing some shower activity, but not too far away from Little River Academy. It's kind of hit and miss down around the Salado area, down around uh, Belton, seeing just a little bit. but. If uh, anything, maybe we've got some cooler air moving through from some of those thunderstorms and also a few more clouds. Down around the Brazos Valley and areas to the south, there's College Station right around Bryan. Most of it is to your south and to your west. And it's not severe, but it's all uh, heading down toward the southwest at about 20 miles an hour. These air mass thunderstorms that are popping up at the heat of the day, they will start to die down here in 30 minutes. And if they hang on a little bit longer, some of these uh, may go until the sun sets. But after that, a lot of the energy will be gone. There's the big picture. There's the front that moved through. And I wanted to show you this because this is an area of tropical weather right now. Right now, it's, it's something that's not very well organized, that is for sure, but the National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on this because it'll be uh, tracking down into the southwestern part of the Gulf of Mexico, and who knows, uh, that 20% chance of tropical development over the five days may send some moisture our way, and I do have a little rain in the forecast there on Friday and Saturday, but a lot could happen with the movement, but at least there's a chance. We've got 96 degrees here in Waco, 94 Temple and Colleen, 91 in College Station. And you can see temperatures are in the 80s where the rain has cooled the air, but it feels like 100 here in Waco. 102 is the heat index right now in Hearn, 96 in the Caldwell area. So widely scattered showers, some isolated storms still out there. They're going to be out there at least through 7, maybe 8 o'clock. But again, once the sun goes down, a lot of these will go down as well. By midnight, partly cloudy skies. And we're going to keep partly cloudy conditions in the forecast overnight. By early tomorrow morning, mid to upper 70s to start. As we go throughout the day, it does appear that the shower activity will be to our west. That's going to be the best chances. Hit and miss, nothing severe at noontime and by the afternoon with the heat of the day. Once again, well off to our south and to our west of Waco, Temple, and Colleen. Temperatures will climb into the mid-90s. Quiet conditions Tuesday night into early on Wednesday. And you can see Wednesday will start off with temperatures upper 60s to lower 70s. And then throughout the day on Wednesday should be a pretty seasonal day with temperatures in the middle 90s. Tonight's forecast, though, there's that 30% chance of showers and storms at least through 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Otherwise, partly cloudy, 73. And then tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, 96 degrees will be the high temperature. As we look ahead, this is the Stanley Ford McGregor Long Range 10-day forecast. I'm going to put some rain in the forecast with that tropical moisture. There it is on Friday and Saturday. Hopefully, we'll see something. I know it's the 4th of July weekend. Right now, I can tell you, Monday looks pretty good for the fireworks. 98 degrees, the high temperature. Bryan and College Station, there are the chances. Again, that tropical moisture there. Friday, Saturday, maybe early Sunday, but should be dry. And I wouldn't cancel any plans over the 4th with highs starting to climb into the upper 90s.